All right, as we think about continuing the abdominal region, first of all, we're going to move some things around a little bit and get them back out to the actual physical reference. But we've really got to think about how the abdominal structure works. There are some kind of important things that we need to take note of. First of all, the vertical nature of the abdominal muscles themselves. The muscle structure actually goes in a vertical pattern where along the side, the way the abdominal muscles connect into areas like basically the attachment point of the sartorius and tensor fasciae muscle runs at pretty much an angle that radiates from this point and also then follows around the side of the body. You can kind of see the muscle pattern here, although there is a band of tendon that kind of runs across all of this and covers that up so that you can't see the vertical nature of the striations of the abdominal muscles themselves. But they do actually run in a vertical fashion. So again, as much as possible, we want to try to follow that where we're actually continuing the direction of the muscle flow as accurately as possible. So now I want to look at how we can kind of complete some of these areas so that as we move forward, we can actually build things with a bit more control. Now, I'm actually going to bridge these two edges across the top of, this is the tensor fascia muscle and this is the sartorius. So it's going to kind of complete that muscle structure right there. So we're going to grab the bridge tool. And I want to make sure that I have one segment in the middle. So I want two segments total. So we'll OK that. And then what that allows me to do, we'll make that full screen, is have a vertex right there in the middle that I can weld together. So we're going to use target weld. And we're going to weld that vertex right down to there. So now that gives me two quads, even though this one's a little bit messy. So we'll bring this up a little bit. Bring this down a little bit. So we can see that we do actually have two quads right here. So bring this forward just a little so we don't have quite as steep of a drop off right there. So bring this back a little bit into the mesh so it helps round off the top of that shape. It's also going to help us to have a little bit less to actually join up into the abdominal region. No matter what though, we're going to end up needing a bit more detail running up in through the pectoralis muscle. So as we look, we're gonna have to figure out the direction that we want a lot of this to flow. So as we go back out, I wanna look at how much of this muscle structure is not quite where we want it at this point. So we want to look at moving around a few vertices to make sure that we're actually following the structure of the abdominal region as much as possible. Now, I'm never too worried about absolute perfection, but I do generally try to get things to be as close as possible. So here through the center line, some of this got pushed back a little too far. So we wanna make sure up here, we have this kind of forward and rounded, and then down a little further, as we get into the abdominal region, the midline of the body, the actual very center line, should be pushed back a little bit to help define the volume of the ab muscles. So right through here, it should be a little farther back, and then the one that's farther into the body, should be a little farther forward. That just helps define the volume then of the abdominal muscles. So you can also see here that we've got a bunch of this. It's still too far back. But for now, we're not gonna worry too much because we're gonna have to add another subdivision in there to actually get that volume where we want it anyway. So now I'm gonna look at taking a few of these and actually starting to form the ab muscles a little bit more directly. So let's actually go from here to here and we're gonna bridge with one more segment in there. And then that's going to allow me, let's make that full screen, to target weld these vertices forward. 
Now, I knew these two vertices from these two polygons to these three polygons were actually in the right spot. So I wanted to take the new ones that we just created and move them to the old ones. It actually works a little bit better when you know that the existing vertices are in the right spot. You don't need to move the old ones to the new ones. So now we're gonna end up with patches here or polygons that we can extrude into these muscle groups. For now, we're not gonna worry about that. For now, we're just gonna keep working on this structure, bringing everything out where we need it to be. So if we look here, we're gonna end up with one pretty long polygon coming back. So we're gonna hold off on that one for now. And we're gonna really think about how to get this area of the body kind of filled in first. So what I wanna do is actually start to think about how many polys and how many vertices I'm really gonna need. So we're gonna grab this and I'm going to flow connect, add one right in the middle there. We're gonna go down here and flow connect again. And that should be pretty good. Now, if I ever need to, I can always add some more geometry. But like always, I don't want to have too much geometry that actually makes it too hard to work with. So I want to think about now how basically there is a band of tendon that emanates from this point at the top of this muscle attachment pretty much all the way up to this top edge right here where the belly button is into this and over the top of this lower abdominal muscle. So that one's pretty pronounced. So. I wanna take, let's see, we'll go from this edge here at the top of that muscle band. And then we're gonna come all the way over to here. So that seems like a pretty strange bridge. And it really is. We're gonna add another segment in there. And then we're going to start to kind of redirect some of this. For now, we're gonna grab all of this and we're gonna move that forward a bit to start to kind of round out and fill out that form. And then here, let's actually take these two, move them back just slightly. So we're not pushed too far forward too quickly. But it rounded out the form for us a bit. Now, I wanna take my lower couple vertices here and actually move them in a little bit to start to direct that flow more down into the center line here. So that's gonna help me to continue to fill this in. Now, before I can go a whole lot farther, I'm actually gonna go to polygon because a lot of the stuff on the back of the body really is starting to get in the way. So I'm gonna grab a bunch of that and well, that seems pretty good. And then I'm going to hide it. So by hiding it, I just kind of get it visually out of my way and I didn't grab enough. So we're gonna turn around the back here and we're gonna grab a bit more. With ignore back facing turned on, there was just a few things that didn't get selected there. So we'll grab it there and hide it. All right, now visually it's not nearly as cluttered in this viewport and I'll have a much cleaner ability to work and see what's going on. All right, so that's gonna be it for now. And then next we're gonna actually add a bit more geometry in here.